Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And a sincere Shalom, Wabu Rakatham, to the hopeful elect, the men that are prophesying and laboring throughout the four winds of the world in this truth and in this doctrine. To you, I say Shalom. Okay, if you see the title of this article, you already know what it is. All right. And our people are at it again. All right. Just showing the world, you know, how ignorant and, you know, just the, the, the folly that our people are engulfed in, man. The, the gross darkness that you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans dwell in, all right? And Esau knows exactly what they're doing when they put these chicken sandwiches out, when they promote all this, this shit in, um, in the uh, Jake neighborhoods, okay? You don't see... You don't see, you know, I'm going to read the article. You know, I'm going to read a little bit of the article. But, you know, the title of this lesson is going to be Folly is Set in Great Dignity. All right. And folly is foolishness. And our people are, are, are great in, in foolishness. All right. And this article goes into a man stabbed to death in Popeye's, a Maryland Popeye's after altercation over chicken sandwich, police say. All right. And, of course, Esau, I think it was yesterday. Uh, today is the, um, the fifth, but November the third, I guess the, 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 they brought back the chicken sandwich. And of course you, 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 you Israelites. Okay. You, you just bug out, act like you never had a, a damn, a chicken sandwich before. All right. And it ain't in the, in the sandwich ain't even all that. All right. And I mean, all this, you know, I'm, I'm me personally, I'm really over all this food in Babylon. Everything is just tainted, uh, 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 MS, it, what is that shit called? Uh, um, uh, Madi, uh, MSG is and everything. That's just the acronym for it. Um, everything is tainted here in America. So, man, you know, and our people, you know, our people are just so gone, so far gone, you know, uh, in this gross darkness and, and following after the ways of the heathen, you know, following after everything that's they consider, uh, um, you know, what they say popping or hot right now. You know, and it's going to just lead our people down that road to the chip to get destroyed, to get slaughtered by Esau. All right. So I'm going to read a little bit of this article and I'm going to pull some precepts and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying in a, uh, to the elect and a wake up call to you Israelites out there, man, because, you know, the most high is putting forth judgment. And all right. And this is a stupid reason for someone to die over a damn chicken sandwich. But the scripture says the most high brings his judgment to light every morning. All right. Um, this is a fight over a fight over someone cutting in line led to a fatal stabbing Monday night in a Maryland Popeyes. Prince George County police say they received report of a fight in a Popeyes location at 6200 block of Livingston Road on Oxen Hill on Monday at around 7 p.m. All right, so you know what it is, man. I ain't even going to read all the article. I'll put it in the description. A fight ensued. A man cut another person in line. And a fight broke out all over some damn chicken. All right? And it ain't even a famine yet. It's not even a scarcity of food. All right? You can still go to Walmart or Albertsons or whatever grocery store you can go to and purchase food. All right? And these people are, are bugging out or, or stabbing each other, killing each other over a chicken sandwich. Okay? So, you know, let me get the scriptures, man, because, you know, you can read the article. But, hey, the article, the title of the article tells you it, it, it tells you exactly what it's about. And nothing more, nothing less. All right. Man stabbed to death in Maryland, Popeyes, over altercation over chicken, chicken sandwich. All right. First scripture I want to get is uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 10 and 6. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low places. The rich are... The Israelites, all right? We're rich because we have this knowledge, this truth. We have the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father gave us, all right? We're his chosen people. That's why we're rich, all right? But we're out there acting like niggas. We're out there, uh, uh, um, you know, just being being, being ruthless, you know, killing our own people over some damn, over a damn chicken sandwich, all right? Th that's how far we uh, um, came, it's like, that's how far we uh, um, went to, went on the left from our power. All right. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in a low place. We're sitting in a low place right now. All right. You got the heathen nations looking back, looking at us like, you know, like look at these niggas, man. They're, they're killing each other over chicken sandwich. All right. That's how look how these nations look at us. Let me get this in Lamentations. 
This is Lamentations, um, because this is what they actually, this is what they say. This is what they said, all right, in, in the in the ancient world. Lamentations uh two and verse fifteen. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughters of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city of that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. We have found, we like you, we have found, we have seen it. Okay, so all, all these nations, the, the, of course, the Edomites, all right, the Ammonites, the, the, the Moabites, the Canaanites, the, uh, um, the Ishmaelites, all these heathen nations, are all confederate against you Israelites. And they're sitting back saying that these the these are supposed to be the children of the most high. These are the uh uh God's uh, elect people. That and, and they just talking shit. They're sitting back looking at you Jakes on TV kill yourself over a damn chicken sandwich. All right. And this, you know, I think I believe of course the chicken sandwich came out earlier this year. I don't know what month it came out, whether it was um shit August or 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 whenever. But the same thing is happening. All right. And I'm pretty sure these two Jakes, all right, they look, they sat back and said, oh, look at these niggas. You know, I, I would never do that. And, and what happens? They up there in line, a man cut another man, and a man, uh, someone's dead. A, a life is lost. Someone lost their father or whatever, you know, uh, a brother. But, it, you know, it was judgment, all right? Hey, judgment's going, go, judgment is going forth out amongst you Israelites, first and foremost, all right? Next scripture I want to get is, um, I ain't going to make this too long because, you know, you know the point. You see the point. All right. You jakes, you Israelites are bugged out your minds. All right. You you have no clue of who your power is. You, um you know, you just, you don't want to get right. That's why two thirds of Israel must be destroyed. Must, they got to go through that, that second death. All right. This is Hosea chapter four and verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they ha thou has rejected knowledge. I also will reject thee. Thou shall be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I al also will forget thy children. The point is, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right. They have no, 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 no clue of um, the, the dietary laws in the law of, um, you know, the dietary laws that the Lord has given us. All right. They the, the, have no clue of the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. On how not to be gluttonous. All right. Jake, go in there and get a chicken sandwich and buy four or five chicken sandwiches when it's just them or just them and they and they woman. All right. You don't you know, Jake is gluttonous. Jake is just they're destroyed. Our people are just completely destroyed. Esau has done a number on you Israelites. All right. All these nations were confederate against you Israelites, according to um, Psalms, uh, the 83rd chapter. OK. But our people are completely destroyed. OK. Let me see. Um, it's only going to get worse out there. And Popeyes know what the hell they're doing. Okay. They know what they, Esau knows what they're doing. Okay. They promote this stuff. The the, the chicken sandwich is coming back November 3rd. They probably made a killing um, on, on Sunday and a killing yesterday. Okay. And as long as they got these chicken sandwiches, these, these, these Edomites is going to eat well off you, you niggas. All right. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people are for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. They're, sadish means very stupid. They are sadish children. Okay, they have none understanding. They have they are wise to do evil, but they have but to do good they have no knowledge. All right, to do to, because to do good in this society you can't do good in this society. This society is filled with wickedness. Okay, only way you can do good is to follow the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father gave us to the best of your ability. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, but you don't want to do that. You want to follow, continue to follow after the ways of the heathens. You want to continue to uh, uh, worship these false idols. You want to continue to, uh, uh, um, you, you want to continue to, to to walk after the ways of Esau, the damn devil. You're your oppressor. All right, and and kill your own. All right. I bet if an eater might cut this guy, he probably wouldn't have killed him. He might have whooped his ass, but he wasn't going to stab him. OK, or, or whatever. OK, if one of these heathens uh, 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 cut this guy in line, whoever the guy is, I didn't even you know read all the whole article of who the, the suspect is or whatever. But 
he wouldn't. Have, he probably would have whooped his ass, but he wouldn't have, have stabbed him. All right. But that hey, that's the curses. That is that's the curses. We're still under the curses. No matter how much money you get in this life or how what status you have, we're still under the curses as a nation. Where's that curse at? Um. Thy eye shall be evil towards thy brother, thy, thy delicate. There it is. Let me see. Yeah, here it is. 54. So that the man that is uh, Deuteronomy 28, 54. So that man that is so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. All right. So the point is the eye shall be your eye shall be evil towards your brother. Your brother is your kinsman. All right. A man of your nation. All right. A uh, uh, Israelite, a fellow Israelite. That's your brother. That's your neighbor. All right. And that's the curse that we're under. Our eye is evil towards our, our people. OK. Last scripture I want to get. It's going in, going in on you, Jake's man. This is. Um, this is second Ezra chapter uh, 15 and verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. Our people are, are being led to the flock to the slaughter. Do you lead the flock to the, you lead the flock to the slaughter. That's a slaughtering house. All right. Now people are being led, uh, by these wicked devices of Esau. All right. To that, to that slaughterhouse to be destroyed. Or our people are destroyed. All right. And wait till that day comes when, these food is it's, it's a scarcity of food out there and food has to be rationed out by your government. People, people are going to be bugging out. People are going to be really killing each other. All right. Not you know, over no bam Popeye sandwich. They're going to be killing each other over some crackers or, or, or over a candy bar. OK, that, that's how that's how it's going to get out here. Thus save the, thus save the scriptures. All right. All these things are prophesied that take place and, and they're happening. These prophecies are coming to pass in these last days. And if you Israelites don't wake up. You know, to this knowledge, to this truth, to this understanding, your heritage, come back to the Heavenly Father, call on his name, uh, realize and understand that you're an Israelite, that you're a prince of the power. You're going to be you're going to be led right to that flock, right? You're going to be led right to that flock to be with that flock to be slaughtered. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due to you. How about Shimia Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, and peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.